Good morning, kindergarten. Today we are learning to group, share, and count collections of objects so that we can be mathematicians. Today you will be successful when you can share items and when you can explain your thinking. So we are going to be looking at questions like this today. Mrs. Scaris is going to show you how to complete this one and you are going to complete one similar for your task today. So it says, there are 10 flowers in the garden. How many flower pots would I need? Make sure there are the same amount of flowers in each. So over here, I have my 10 flowers. I'm just going to check I have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so I have my 10 flowers. Now I need some pots and I know it says that there needs to be the same amount in each of the pots. So the pots are like my groups and the flowers are my objects. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the drawing tool on Seesaw to make my pots. I'm just gonna change my color. Okay, so I know my friends of 10, but I only know that if I do five plus five, then that means that it would be the same amount in each. So I'm going to start by doing two pots. I've got one pot and I've got another pot. Okay, so if I do that, then I go back. I know that I can put five in each one, two, three, four. And you can adjust the size of these as well so that they can fit. Okay, I'm just gonna move them over so I can squeeze in my last one. Or you can make your pot a little bit pinker. Okay. So I've got five in here, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got one, two, three, four, five left over. So I know if I put these flowers in this pot, both of my groups would have five. That means that there are still 10 flowers. I have two pots and there's the same amount in each. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is a beautiful little garden here. Oh, this flower's gone a bit funny. I'll make that one little. Okay. And now I have another five here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it says there are 10 flowers in the garden. Here's my 10. How many flower pots would I need? And that's what you need to figure out. So I got two because I knew that five plus five was 10. And now I'm making sure that there's the same amount. I've already counted them and I know that they are equal. Now, another thing that you can do, you don't have to do five in each, okay? These questions are sometimes open-ended. So you might not need to do two groups of five. Let's try a different way. Just moving all my flowers back over so that I can start again. I'm going to rub out my pots and I'm going to try and think of another way that I can have equal groups with 10. I'm going to rub this out. All right, so I'm going to think of another way now. I'm going to go back with my pencil and I'm going to try and do two flowers in each pot. So if I count by twos on my fingers, two, four, six, eight, ten, I think I might need five pots this time. I don't have to make them as big because I only have to put two flowers in each. I'm going to see if that works. One, two, three. These are a little bit wonky, these pots, but that's okay. Four, bit tricky drawing them on seesaw. Okay, now I have five pots. I'm going to click this one again and try and see how that works. So I want two in each. Wow, this is a very pretty garden. Oh, two purple ones together. <laughs> There you go. I've got 